we're on our way. This hurts. Ow. <clears throat> yep, that's me. That handsome bloke in the corpse husband beanie is my roommate. We filmed this almost a year ago. Yes, this video is so late that Brickford, Virginia is already almost here again. I'm going to that one too, by the way, so if you're going to be there, leave a comment or something. I don't know. I figured I should probably get this out before then, so here's a hastily edited together vlog of our trip to Brick Fair, Virginia 2022. Hello and welcome to the Brick Fair Vlogs! <laughs> to start our journey, I wake Jordan up in the usual way. It's break fair time. Then we do some driving. Some eating. And more driving. So much driving. And look at that. Day one already. That's me. That's him. That'd be me. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Through the pearly gates. Took the chance to say hi to my friends Chocolate Frogs and Brappy Hour. Hi Ben. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> nice to see you, man. Yep. There he is. <laughs> Fun fact, I'll be spending the next few days sharing a hotel room with these fine boys. I brought an ungodly amount of mocks, so I filmed this time lapse to show just how long the setup takes for this. I'm not bringing nearly this many ever again. I guess we got more food after that. I don't know. We filmed so many clips that they may be a little out of order. After that was everyone's favorite part, the opening ceremony. Actually, everyone seems to hate this part, including the Brick Fair staff. By the way, that guy is Todd. He runs the show. He figured out that the best way to get a thousand or so AFOLs to listen to announcements in the corner of a hollowed out Walmart is by giving away thousands of dollars of discontinued Lego sets. No questions. Everybody's got an October. I didn't win any. I never win any. This is the last time we're all together as a group until Sunday night. Here we go. Uh, giant, awesome-looking, whatever the hell that is, goes to... Sean Veers. Sean Veers. Enjoy your birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But anyway, here's a cursory glance at my display. You've probably seen all these before. Unless you're finding my channel from this video, in which case, here's the least impressive Bionicle mocks that were on display at Brickford, Virginia, 2022. You want to see the impressive ones? Too bad, I forgot to film them before they all got taken down. Hoffman. All right. 
chicken. Because we live in a society that values clout above all else, I spent some time over the next few days interviewing other creators. These interviews will be dispersed throughout the rest of the video. But this ain't beyond the brick, so forgive the cursed mic quality. Hello everybody, I'm Nessa, and I'm LJ. I'm recording live from Quick Trail, Virginia. This is Mac and Jay. Woo! Hello everybody, I'm Wombat Combat Pictures, and I'm here with LJ Johnson of the TTV channel. How are you doing today, LJ? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. How was your trip so far? The trip has been phenomenal. I've been doing a bunch of stuff, been seeing a bunch of great people, uh, seeing a bunch of phenomenal creations. It's been great. All right. Uh, uh, I've just got a few questions for you. Uh, number one, uh, when's the next episode of the LJ Johnson Show? Great question. Next question? I don't, I don't know. I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't know. All right. What is your honest opinion on the state of the Bionicle community in 2022? I think that the Bionicle community is still wildly passionate, and there are only a handful of groups that are actively hostile and are potentially bothersome enough to bring down the reputation of the rest of it. But, barring those few exceptions, I think the Bionicle community, as you can see here, is still full of passion and energy for Bionicle. They're still wildly creative. You have so many games, mocks, and just wonderful pieces of content and media that are coming out it's unprecedented and if you are a fan of bionicle then this is a really good time to be a fan if you like seeing that creativity awesome i would i wouldn't agree more anyway uh when are you gonna read nine of nights you know what connor I, look at the time i really <laughs> gotta get going I, it's been great it's been great well, anyway, that's about it. Uh, LJ Johnson, everybody. Uh, <laughs> my roommate just chased LJ across the room. Hello, everybody. We're back again. Uh, Messamek here. Hello, hello. How's life and such? Uh, it's great. How are you doing? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. I'm just loving Brick Fair. Uh, there's too much to see, not enough time. You've done a couple panels so far. How are those? I've only done one, and I didn't do any preparation for it. I barely remembered 2002 Bionicle. I made people mad by saying the Bow Rock suck and the Tonuva were awful, and I didn't do any research, so it went great. As it does. Uh, I'll try a new question. What Bionicle character comes to your mind when you think of the song uh, California Girls by Katy Perry? Akar, because California is hot. That's pretty close to my answer. My answer is Tahu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, what's your thoughts on Quantum Mechanics? He's epic. Wait. I think it's creative mechanics. <laughs> Andrew Sanders. Promotion for creative mechanics. Uh, what the mechanic? Concept? Uh, the science. The. Uh, I have no thoughts. I have no thoughts at all. It's interesting. It's beyond my knowledge space. Okay. Well, it's been an honor to uh, cross light cones with you, and I hope we can collapse some wave functions in the future together. That would be simply wonderful if I knew what that meant. I'm down. Alrighty. <laughs> Pleasure talking to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Good. Good. Cut, cut. LJ and Meso must have been really impressed by my interviewing chops because they asked me to come along with them on a romantic candlelit dinner. However, I politely turned them down and spent the evening rizzing up Zack, aka Starbreaker, instead. After a toast, he presented me with an interesting proposition. I got a toast to friends, merrymaking, and that dumb toy company that brought us all together. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Guys, this is Connor Hoffman. I am now a member of TTV. This is also the secret, uh, the secret prize for the Artaka canonization contest. How dare they inspire friendship? Private dinner with the uh, the contest runners. And people can say it's rigged. Can confirm as an official member of TTV, as you can see right here. Um, he is a honorary junior member, and um, we will be having discussions here in the future about. Uh, Commercial integration, uh, sponsorships, obviously, uh, pensions, packages. No insurance, though. We don't, we don't do insurance. <laughs> Nothing happened on day three. I definitely did not get arrested in Walmart on day three. Alrighty. Hello there, Ben Cossie. Hello there, how are you? Star Wars joke. Uh, hey, we're here at Brick Grant 2022, Virginia, in America. This is crazy, isn't it? It's, uh, it's kind of insane. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, you come from a land down up. Yes. 
Yes, I do. Uh, it was a long flight, but I'm here, uh, and it's kind of much better than any uh, cons I've had in Australia. Yeah. What's it like in this destitute country uh, called America for the past week? Um, like, I knew people loved America, like, patriotism was deep, but it's like way deeper than I thought it would be. Um, it's still lovely though, like, everything's cheap, food's fantastic, uh, and the people have been really nice. So, uh, yeah, it's been a great time. Yeah. We appreciate that. Us, uh, on behalf of America, we appreciate it. <laughs> uh, anyway, you and I have a bit of a history together. Mm -hmm. We're both from the old, uh, Mark Pages days. Uh, I, I don't know if you have anything to say about that. The Mark Pages was fun, um, and I remember, uh, what was that, like 2010 or something, really, ages ago. 10 years, 12 years now, jeez. Um, I remember being like, Ned, I wish there was a place we could all just like meet and hang out. And now we're in that reality. And that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I think it's really cool. Especially like meeting you and like Mitch, who I've known for so long now. And actually being able to physically meet you and like see your mocks in person. It's, um, it's really special. Yeah, it's really cool. It's insane. I smoked up there, wasn't I? It's really special. I I'm tearing up. <laughs> oh, well, it's, it's been great to meet you. Uh, do you have anything? Uh, would you like to talk about your display here? Sure, sure. Uh, so like, yeah, I didn't have a lot of space uh, in my suitcase because I'm going to be buying lots here. So I just built something small. It was kind of an homage to like mock advice, uh, Galador report, that sort of thing. Um, it was also just kind of a like, oh, you know, YouTube and talking to people and all that sort of thing. And uh, it was just a nice kind of compact small thing that fit in my suitcase. And yeah, I was happy with it. Uh, cheesy Q here, right? Uh, yes, Mr. Mitch Henry from uh, from uh, back in the day. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The aim was anyone could kind of put them up there, but the couch is kind of a little too small, so I don't know if it really worked out. But you know, yeah. All right. Well, it's great talking to you. Great meeting you in person in real life. I don't know how many different ways I can say in real life, but I did. I think cover a few bases. But anyway, it's been great talking to you. Hey everybody, I'm here with Zach, uh, also known as Starbreaker, uh, from the TTV channel and uh, other places. How are you doing today, Zach? I'm doing really well, actually. I love being here. Me too. Same, same. So, uh, how was your trip this year? It was a lot better than my trip before that. Uh, I just got done moving before coming here, so the trip over was uh, What are your thoughts about Bionicle as a system thing? Bionicle as a system. A lot of people are going to jump on me for this one, but I honestly really like to see it. The system has shown, especially through so many of these mocks here, is able to capture so much of the pure Lego aesthetic, but also so much for not just Bionicle, Hero Factory, Slices, robots. Anything construction has been done with the system, and it has looked great. Especially because, you know, you can still incorporate the technical elements and all that into it, too. And I think that, especially with the recent releases of the notable Iron Man figure or the recently announced Spider-Man and Miles Morales figures, it would really, really work well. All right. And uh, I guess uh, as an extension of that, what would Bionicle need as a system theme to make it work, you think? I think in order to appease not just classic fans, but also the new generation of LEGO fans, Again, I'm going to get a, little, a lot of flack for this, but I think they need to pull a Chima in the sense that they have their battle scale sets, their play sets with a good side and a bad side, and then they have the larger construction style figures. So in some sense, you got the mini figures, and in the other sense, you have the Iron Man style figure, both of the figures. Because that way, you appeal to the mockists and people in the community that have been construction. And then you also appeal to more like the new genre side of the community that are interested in small scale battles and just younger kids. That's a very interesting take. I've, I've actually never heard that specific take. Usually it's either all system or all construction. Uh, hey, anyway, it was a great talking to you and great meeting you again here at Rick Bear. It's always a pleasure to see you again. Of course. All right, now uh, back to you, Ted. Actually, day three is one of the best days because at a certain time in the evening, all the lights go out and we get treated to World of Lights. Cue the montage.
<laughs> How's your Taco Bell, George? Oh my god. I don't know what you're gonna eat. Whoa. How's your Taco Bell, Nate? It's pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> At last, the public days are here. Over the weekend, the doors are open to the public to come and gawk at all the cool Lego, and be confused by what Bionicle is. And then there's this guy, which was pretty cool. Hello guys, we're here at Brickfield, Virginia with the Borok Man from YouTube. Would you believe it? Uh, yes? He believes it, because it's him. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, how was your trip to Brickfair this year? Oh, it was pretty good. Yeah, I live in California right now, so, but I have family around, so. You're, you're from far away. I didn't know that. Uh, okay, well, you're known for stop motions on YouTube, aren't you? I think so, yeah. I think so, too. Uh, I love your Borok animations. Uh, would you be able to, uh, give us a sneak preview about anything you might be working on? Yeah, I'm working on something set in Cole Metro with Nuju. And it's going to have a 3D background made in Blender. Uh, very nice. Very impressive. So, uh, uh, hey, uh, off the topic question. What's your favorite color? Green. I would not have guessed that from the uh, the red Borok as your icon. What is typically your favorite canister set, uh, color-wise or element-wise? Uh, I guess the red ones, yeah. <laughs> I like, you know, I like the color green, but they make the red one pretty well. The red one. Classic. Yeah, it's classic, yeah. All right, uh, where can we find you on the interwebs if uh, they didn't catch that originally? Yeah, I'm the Borok Man. I'm on YouTube, but also Instagram and Twitter. So, yeah, just look up the Borok Man. All right. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you again, man. Yeah, thanks so much. We'll get to see you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Connor Offen here, and I'm here with Miko1337 here uh, from YouTube. Hello there. Hi, Mika X, Zertin Zertin Zevin. How are you enjoying Brickfield this year? Honestly, it's been amazing so far. It feels like we just started. Uh, man, it's been, it's been a blast so far. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do on YouTube. Well, um, I am a biotuber um, who is a complete mad lad. I do stop motion animation. Currently, um, I'm not doing any videos at the moment because I'm trying to work on the shed to make myself the animation studio but what I've done was the BioTube Cataclysm collab video with in fact Greg Baldwin the uh, second voice of Uncle Iroh the next project I'm going to be working on is going to be a collaboration with Paranormal Warehouse, um, a ghost hunting company run by one of the lead investigators for the hit show Ghost Hunters. Very nice, very nice. He also designed the 3D printed Shrek mask from my mask unboxing video. Correct. <laughs> All right, uh, one final question. Did you know that the universe is made out of energy and it can either uh, be created or destroyed? Um, I thought it was uh, created by my parts. Yeah. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Hello, everybody. We're back again here with Shade2800 from YouTube. How are you doing, Shade? Overwhelmed. Hey, everything. Like, are we even going to see everything around here? We got like five hours. It's not possible. There's so much to see here at Brick Fair, Virginia 2022. Anyway, uh, how has your trip been so far? Well, it's, well, two hour drive, not fun, but at least we're finally here. Again, I'm just floored by everything. It's, it's, it's hard not to be a little envious, not gonna lie, but you gotta appreciate challenge. Gotcha, gotcha. So, off the topic question, how many Lego minifigures do you own? I'm not sure at the top of my head. When I was younger, I used to collect a lot of the regular system sets. I saw a lot of them. I do have, I have been getting some of the collectible minifigures again. I don't know, I, I, I don't know at the top of my head. Like, we focus mostly on Bonacle. And not quite as much on the system stuff. It's hard to keep track. Not to mention, it's not something you like um, try to calculate on a daily basis. It's not like I have a spreadsheet and everything. Gotcha. Uh, comparing your number of Lego minifigures to Lego Bionicle Mox, how many do you think compares? I mean, I want to say 100, but again, A, I've been doing this for a decade, and B, 
a lot of them were made when I was younger, not as good, and just be able to be with something else. Like, I suppose when you get older, you have, and you can do something longer, you have a higher standard. So, of course, things take longer, you want to make sure things okay, and also adulthood catches up to you, and you don't have nearly as much time as you used to. Yeah. Well, standards are a thing, but I don't believe there is anything, uh, such a thing as a bad mom. Anyway, shave it. Maybe hosers. <laughs> anyway, uh, Shade, where can we find you on the interwebs? Uh, well, Shade2100 at YouTube.com. I'm also on DeviantArt, Twitter, and Instagram. So, DeviantArt and Instagram are also where you, well, mostly where you see, like, various pictures. Not gonna lie, I am thinking about, like, starting next year, maybe taking a similar time. I mean, I've been at this for over a decade, and let's just say recent projects have drained a lot out of me. I feel like, you know, I want to try to look at other ventures. I'm grateful for the time I've had. It's just maybe I just want to focus on something else for the time being. But I do at least want to go off with a bang. I got several projects in the works. You'll just have to see when they come out. Alrighty. Very introspective take here at Recur Virginia 2022. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Let's move on. Then came the moment I had been waiting for public intoxication. After the doors close to the public on Saturday, Adult Swim officially begins, and it suddenly becomes socially acceptable to be wasted while surrounded by hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of other people's fragile artistic work. I was lucky enough to get picked to play a little game called the Impaired Build. Let me tell you the way I thought this worked. First, you get a Lego set and several shots of whatever alcohol is provided. Then you get yourself dizzy and attempt to build a Lego set faster than all the other drunks. If you're the first to finish, you get a prize, probably more LEGO, and everyone gets to keep the provided LEGO set and a Brick Fair themed shot glass. However, things were a little different this year, and I was in for a bit of a surprise. They made us trade sets with other people, and some wise guys had purposefully built their sets wrong to sabotage other people. I guess that's fair, but it made the game more about luck than being able to hold your liquor. After promptly losing the impaired build, I rendezvoused with Jordan to play some Smash Bros in a drunken stupor. Smash Bros. At, at Fair. Woo. By the way, this is the only time in my life I've ever been actually blackout drunk. So that was fun. Smash Bros. at Brick Fair. On day four, I totally didn't film any footage for the public hours. However, once the doors closed, I suddenly realized I hadn't filmed any regular footage of other people's mocks. So I tried to record as much as I could before they all got taken down. You guys are packing up too quick. I can't get any video. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, here I can show my insanely condensed pack. This is how we get our mocks home. We just throw them in there. That is awesome. And you know what? Hope for the best. <laughs> and I failed. So if that's something you want to see, I suggest watching Ben Cossey's video, where he actually manages to get footage of everything that was at the Bionicle table. Hey guys, we're here at Brick Fair, Virginia, although not anymore because it just ended. Uh, I'm here with Ben, aka Chocolate Frogs. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Chocolate Frogs, or Benjamin. I am the theme leader for Bionicle at Brick Fair, and I'm on BZ Power, and I build online, and I love showing off my mocks, and everything Bionicle and Lego. And he's a great guy. Anyway, what's your favorite TIE Fighter? Uh, the yellow one that has, like, the two, one-third of it's missing in the front. It looks really cool. No, wait, that's your answer. Yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> the, one, the one from Rogue One. That set's really, really cool. I think that's the... Is that the Tie Defender? I don't, I don't. Uh, you, your first answer was the tie, like the loading Tie Fighter, the like the construction one. Yeah. That one's weird. I don't like that one. <laughs> uh, how was your Brick Fair this year? That's a good question. Brick Fair was great. Very, very busy, but very, very fun. Saw all kinds of friends I haven't seen in the past year. Uh, played a bunch of games, led some games, just hung out as always. Great time. And you had a great time last night too, right? Oh yeah, we had uh, some fun time building last night, drunkenly. Oh, you want to expand on that? Yeah, we, uh, we had impaired speed build, we got drunk, we built a set together, we hung out way too long, had a good time with all our friends later in the night. Hey guys, everyone. He hello everyone, guys. Uh, people here watching this YouTube video. 
Uh, Brick Fair is now over, and I'm here with, uh, wait, is that Joey? It is Joey. <laughs> it's Maniac for Bricks. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Very tired, but there's a, I've had a lot of fun this week. So, it was, uh, it was a little bit rough as far as the drive itself, but once I got here, I got to really enjoy a lot, and I, even though I can't do everything, I was still very happy with what I got to see. Uh, just for the people back home, where can we find you on the interwebs, Mr. Maniac? The better question is, where can't you find me? <laughs> so, uh, Instagram, at Maniac for Bricks Official, uh, Maniac for Bricks, pretty much every social media, like Twitter and uh, YouTube and everything like that. I mostly post through Twitter and YouTube. And Alrighty. Uh, one final question for you, my good sir. What is Donkey Kong's signature catchphrase? Yeah. <laughs> or, or are you referring to, oh, banana. <laughs> <laughs> that one too. That one too. I grew up with Donkey Kong 64. What was I supposed to say? Finally, it was time for the closing ceremony. Second verse is the same as the first. More Lego being given away to everyone besides me. Although, Brappy Hour managed to win a life-sized minifig mug. Oh, and there's LJ, hoping to make Ninjago more relevant at Brick Fair. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Slaychop Foundation has been around since 1982, providing food, shelter, clothing, education, and medical care to destitute children in the United States and world. We support after-school mentoring in Annapolis and Baltimore, and we also have orphanages and schools in Haiti, Guyana, Chiapas, Mexico, and Ukraine which we have been supporting since 2008. Thank you so, so much. Now, let me tell you, tell you, you the auction brought in $6,360. The minifigs brought in $1,982. Bingo! You know, you don't think bingo is a huge thing, right? $2,726. Miscellaneous sales, $1,775. So the total is $13,083. After that, we went home. What? You wanted more? Uh, alright. Uh, we were tired. Uh... Oh yeah, so there's the stuff that I bought. I spent a lot of money. This one sent me back quite a few paychecks, not gonna lie. It's a good thing Lego is a good investment, right? Used construction sets are totally a good investment. Otherwise, I wouldn't have paid upwards of double their MSRP, right? Yeah, totally. I make good financial decisions. By the way, to the guy who I traded my spleen to for a used General Grievous, I found he was missing about 75% of the pieces he needed for his lightsabers, so in the spirit of good customer service, I'm gonna need that back. In conclusion, Brick Fair was a great time. If you have a chance to go, I highly encourage it, especially if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, or are not a big enough fan of LEGO to justify taking a week off of work to hang out with an assortment of ages of people whose favorite pastime is collecting and playing with children's toys, then I have one thing to say to you, John. You can sit up there on your high horse and think that you're better than me. That's fine, but when you see me purchase my 50th Stormtrooper minifigure and laugh, just know that I'll be there, amassing an army of little plastic men. And on the 30th of September, when you are at the lowest of the low, suffering from losing your wife, job, and any shred of sanity you have left in this world, I'll be sitting there with my plastic toys, and I'll be happier than you. 
Knowing what you know now, Stanley, would you do what John has done? I say no. You'll look upon the sad state he's in and you'll decide to buy a ticket to Brickfair. It'll change your life.